All right, so I guess this is the beginning of building the plug for the next version. And basically what I'm doing here is, I, so I have all this foam cutoffs and I've saved these from kind of like the normal stuff that I do because I knew at some point I would probably use it and so here I am using it. So I have a ton of this foam and I, I would like to get rid of it. So this is part of it. And so what I'm doing is cutting it into stock that's four and a half by four and a half inches. And I've just spent maybe 10 minutes here and I have a whole lot of it already. So I'm not going to need much more of this in order to have enough volume to mill out the plug. I only need one of them. Um, ideally, I only need one of them and I don't mess it up. But Alright, so I processed this pile that was in the corner, so everything but these top two pieces is that four and a half by four and a half uh, extrusion, I guess. Uh, much neater pile, and I believe this should be enough for the plug of one of the holes. But anyways, I, I still have all of this left to do. I will eventually do it just to condense it down, and just in case I need it. But... Um, yeah, definitely have enough. And so this is all of the cutoffs. Uh, it's just really in sizes that can't really be used. That four and a half by four and a half is what made the most sense. Uh, so I do have to haul all this out. And luckily for me, uh, I am at a recycling plant, like right out back of the building is a recycling plant. And so I bring out all my foam cutoffs anyways, and they have this huge machine that just grinds this stuff up and then compacts it into like a hard dense kind of feels like a solid plastic and then all that can get remelted back down into styrene or whatever it is and then blown into foam again uh, so all this will be nicely recycled and then um yeah it wasn't wasn't too bad of a job but now i am glad that i finally decided on how to process all this foam and so now I will be able to start gluing this up into larger sections and then eventually making the cuts. I just haven't gone through the, now that I know the stock size is that these are four and a half by four and a half, I'll be able to go through the model on the computer and work out the actual cuts for the machine. Um, so I, I really was, needed this to be done before I could move on any further. And so I think I briefly showed the model on the computer, but I did cut out a small uh, actual like lifelike model just to feel it out. So something like this is what I'm going for. What I'm not uh, sure of so far is the actual deck that connects the two pontoons and where in what shape the hatches will be, but I know I want two hatches because there's just so much storage in here. You'll be able to put like nine foot fly rods, hopefully, actually I'm not sure, but um, there's a lot of room in there, definitely for spinning rods. We'll see about fly rods because a hatch in the middle, that wouldn't really work out. But these are the hull shape. And so with a small, uh, scale down with the size of the uh, tool that I was cut in with we couldn't get it perfectly uh, the top I just kind of sanded through the top so that's not uh, perfect either but it'll just give an idea of what I'm going for and so this is I think the fourth version of this type of boat that I've been doing and I think that this is the best way to go uh, more so designed for a lot flatter bottom with that reverse 
those reverse chines to hopefully get it up and on top of the water and to keep it from squatting so much catamarans tend to squat so hopefully that prevents it and it's just skinnier as well and the main goal again of this whole like three-piece design is uh with the other ones that i had they weren't three piece they were really so they were like two two hulls with some cross beams and then like four or five deck pieces that would fit together and um that was a bit it was too many pieces it was kind of all i knew at the time but just even with that clunky design I was able to throw it on the car and literally bring the thing absolutely anywhere we wanted to go. And so I had a 13 foot version of that. And me and my buddy used that for an entire summer and we brought the thing everywhere and it was a lot of fun. And so I'm just trying to refine that version. And so I think the three piece, much simpler, much better. Narrower too, the other ones were too wide. Uh, but I think a little skinnier is, is the way to go. Um, so yeah. In the end, hopefully it's it's something like this. Again, the deck, it will be hopefully flush with the uh, top caps of the pontoons. And then in terms of the hatches, again, I, I need to think that out also.